All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back. We are in beautiful Prineville, Oregon. Today, we're gonna be working on a TH407 telehandler that I picked up right behind us. It doesn't run. At least we don't think it runs. I bought it not running from an auction. But before we tear it down, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get it to start. Now it's got a bunch of stuff missing. Batteries are out of it. Uh, disconnect switches out of it. We're not sure of the actual condition of it. It's obviously missing the front axle. In here's missing a bunch of plugs. A bunch of switches are gone out of here. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Biggest thing, front axle's gone. We put it on a stand to kind of level the thing out. Hopefully we can get into it. What do you think? Is it gonna start or is it gonna blow up? Or is it just not gonna do anything? I think it'll start. It's full of oil. Yeah. Yeah, we pulled the dipstick on it. She's got all the Earls. So what do we gotta do? We got uh, two batteries. Are they charged? Do we actually have charged batteries? Okay, well I wanna use this one because the ground, because it has those little posts. Okay. Eh, she's a little. She'll probably go. What do we got with this one? Well, that one's perfect. Okay. That's a pretty good one. This is out of that 980, right? Yeah. So you guys notice, 980 is gone. Already tore down. You killed it, man. Brought her in here. She was out, in and out. She's a little rusty. Maybe that's why they parked it, because it was the batteries are gonna fall out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's safe. Oh, totally. Okay, so that's the only yeah. This used to go here to the oh, disconnect switch. Okay. But there's no disconnect switch. No, there's pieces of it right here. But we have powers, so we'll need to scoot this battery over here to the okay. power side. Oh, she's backwards, bud. Oh. Shoot, bud. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. It's probably. Oh, yeah. Come on, meow. There we go. And. Oh, now I see why you wanted to use the other battery. Yeah, because how. Yeah. My bad. I see why you wanted to use it. Because it's got the post it's for like the, the little screw post. Yeah, thing. to get ghetto with it. You know what we could do? Vice grips. <laughs> okay. Do we got a pair of vice grips around here? They're the nice ones, but... Shoot dang, bud. Okay. Looks like we used them a couple times for that purpose, too. <laughs> I wonder if we'll get any power out of it. Oh, do we have a cat key around here? One of the big forklifts. I think we have some in the office. Vice gripper on there, real tight. Is he gonna make any sparkles? Eh, not a bunch. I think she's probably gonna. Sure. Yeah. I'll hold it right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe you should loosen it up. Oh, dude! You're telling me that's not a good connection? That's solid. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if we got any lights on or anything. So these telehandlers, they're actually 12 volt, which a lot of the stuff we work on is 24. So we should get away with one battery. Uh-oh. You have to be on? I think so. Okay. Let's go find a, a kitty pillar key. Yeah. We have this awesome door. You don't know anything about that, would you? No. It's <laughs> super quiet now, too. Is it? Yeah. Everyone keeps asking us about the door. Somebody may or may not have run into it with a forklift and we had to get a new door. And that somebody may look every single time now where the forklift is at. So we have a new door. Okay, cat key. You think the old 416's got one? Right there. Bam, dude. I'm gonna guess that it's gonna, the key's gonna turn and it's not gonna do much. 
Throw it down in the comment section. Is it just gonna fire right up or is it gonna click and do nothing? Because there's stuff missing out of it. The engine ECM is there, but there's, there's some other stuff missing. So we might have to get a little ghetto with it to try and make it. Yeah, a lot of disconnected stuff. I don't know, throw it down in the comments if you think it'll fire right up. It is a cat after all. Oh yeah, they're always capped off. Let's see. Well, that one's open. That's just a breather though. That's capped. I mean, we're all capped off. So we'll just have to shut her down real fast. And it's out of gear. Yeah. We should just open the door just in case something bad happens. I just turned the key. No power. Nothing. Uh-oh. Not a... No power. Okay. So now what do we do? What's missing? Oh, there's a lot of stuff missing. Mmm. Mmm. Anything work? Nothing works. Nada. Uh oh. Not even flashers. Okay. I wonder if this is a fuse box. Yeah. Yeah, see the fuse box is missing. That might be a leading or contributing factor to the no power issue. So let's get the power probe out. Okay. Let's just jump it. Let's see if we can... I wonder if we can give the ECM power. Yeah, I think we can probably... On the wiring schematic here... We can... So here's to the injectors. Let's get that bolt right there. Like that. Right there. No, what we need to do is... Find what pin gives us power. Power the ECM and then jump it. And see if we can get the fire up. That's probably what we got to do. Okay, well, we're going to go to the CAT system and look up a wiring schematic for this thing and see if we can find out what wires do what because there is no fuse box in there, so it's not just going to run the way it is. We're going to get our power probe out, find the wiring diagram, see if we can get the fire up. Okay, so here's where we're at. So we're on the CAT schematic here, and we have two of our main fuses. Uh, they're both 25 amps. We have our glow plugs, which is right here, and it's been undone, so that's missing. And these other two are ECM power, so what we're going to do is we're going to hook this battery back up, and we're going to take the power probe and see if we have uh, power at these fuses, which I'm going to say, probably not. Yeah. But the easy, what will be awesome is if we just powered these, and it powers the ECM. I don't think it's going to be that easy, though. Could be. You want to do your vice grip trick? Sure. Oh, you know why it might not might might why it might have clicked? Because we didn't tighten up the battery. Oh, careful! <laughs> Don't weld. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, the negative's not hooked up. So it doesn't sure. matter because you're giving it a negative when you touch it there. Look at the precision. Oh, <laughs> careful! <laughs> Someone may or may not have welded one of my wrenches to a 980. <laughs> Did it get hot? Well, it welded it, so probably. <laughs> what if we got fuel? The big explosion of sparks in my face. <laughs> Shoot. All right. Go for the power clamp, bud. You might even want to loosen it. It doesn't matter. Sure. Oh, sure. Okay. Power probe. Let's hook the power probe up. Oh, yeah, sure. Why don't you just put it right here? <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> Technically, you're not wrong. <laughs> it's big brain time. <laughs> All right, let's see if we have power. Yeah. yeah. Power, do you have power to both sides? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. We have power here. So obviously no power there, but do we have power to that one? Mm. So now that's funky. Why would we have power to our glow plug relay all the time? 
I'm just curious, with this tightened up, will it turn over now or will it just click? No, it still wants to click. You don't like that. Well, let's pick up these other batteries, I guess. Sparkage? Are we gonna have sparkage? Nah. Okay, so we need to find a ground. We've seen a little jumper. Yeah. Do we have a set of jumper cables or something? Just... Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we did. So we had some trouble getting it to, tur to turn over with the power probe. It just didn't have enough amps. So what we did was we just cut this here and so we have that we have ecm power here but there's got to be some sort of trigger in here that's going to give it power as well because we still have power here right that's... yeah okay so we still have power to the main ecm I am confused why this is here. Just be maybe that's not maybe that's yeah, I don't know, we gotta we gotta bust out the computer. Eh? Okay. I think we go there, look at the schematic again and see if we can uh what that is. Yeah. Okay, so she turns over. Now we know we have power to the ECM here. I wanna say that's just the diagram for that, so we need to find the diagram of the actual engine. Murder this harness here. Let's see. So now we shouldn't have power to that. She's starting to go. Okay. A little spot. Yeah. So, what I did here, this is our power for our fuel disconnect, and I think on this engine you actually need to cut it. You need to. It needs no power to shut it off. So I think that if I just tap these back together, it'll kill it. Theoretically. Let me think here. Let's see. Okay. I think we're, we're, we're doing better here. I think that's, we need to tap that there and that should kill it. If it starts? If it starts. Okay. Yes, it turns over. So it's gotta be here. They must have robbed the glow plug harness out of this thing. Hmm. Uh, do do? Why don't you grab me two more splicers? We'll put that harness back together. Okay. And we'll see if we can get it to go. Pain in the A. The dual splice action. Dual quality right there. Mm. Mm hmm. Dual splice. No clicking. You know. Try and go. Hit the key, hit the thing, you ready? Go. Hmm. What happens if we try and jump it from here to here? Put the glowy plugs. Not try it? Not try it. Weird. Weird. 
it's pumping, that's mechanical. That's gotta be fuel solenoid. That's what I'm confused about. They, they show a gray and black wire that goes to the fuel pump. I wonder if it's like an in-tank fuel. I thought we had it. Okay, well I gotta take a sip, Rep. Do some more research on this thing. I'm gonna go to the big computer and really try. Okay, so here's where we're at. The schematic for a cat telehandler, this is not right. I've been going through the, the computer to try and figure out what the heck actually signals the ECM to fire. It's not right, whatever's in the cat system is not right for this machine. And I think that has to do with these machines are actually made in England and then brought over and a cat engine is put in them. So we're gonna see if it'll start on ether. Get nothing else to try. I can't figure out how to get it to deliver fuel. I think it has something to do with the ECM that's in the cab and I'm out of options. We just need to see if it'll start and run and then we can start tearing this machine down and get it out of the shop. I don't want to mess with it too much longer. Okay, big fireball. Almost there. <laughs> a little more? Yeah, I'll give it a little bit. Get another flip. Thing. Maybe it's dusted, who knows? But you can smell the raw ether. Yeah. Big fail. Let's go tear it down. She's done. Not every video has a happy ending. That sucks. Stupid telehandlers. Womp womp. 24 will start. No. Oh. Think it'll still start? 100%. Let's go three. Resurrect the old Pete. I don't know, for the 10 people that are still watching, should we resurrect the old Pete? That's right over there. I don't know. They better throw it down in the comment section. Yeah. The five people that are still watching. Yeah. Anyway, guys, it's going to do it for this one. As always, we keep posting Tuesdays and Thursdays, two videos a week. Oh! And for the one person that's still watching, start a fishing channel, Pacific Northwest Fishing. Check it out. Link will be in the description. See ya.